Hi everyone, I'm Savi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the multiple values custom list filter. You can find it on the top right corner. If you add the filter to your dashboard and you click on more options, you can find here multiple values custom list. This is my favorite type of filter. And why? It requires less space than, for example, the multiple values list filter. And it is also more performant than the multiple values list or the multiple values dropdown filter. Why is it more performant? Because this type of filter doesn't list all the individual filter elements. And if you imagine you have product IDs or thousands of order IDs, this list can be very long and the, the loading of this list will make your dashboard slower. That is why I prefer the multiple values custom list. There is no predefined list. You can simply type your search criteria and the individual filter will be shown. How does it work? On the left part of the dashboard, I've prepared the short summary to you. This is the country filter. So I would like to filter Spain. What I can do, I can add it with the plus symbol as a filter, or I can double check with the magnifying glass whether Spain exists in the data source. Okay, it exists. I can add it. This is how multiple values custom list filter works. I can add another value, of course, for example, Germany. I can add it directly and you can see it filters. Be aware that in this case, you need more, more space for the filter as you don't, as you cannot see all the individual values. So I've already shown how you can add the values, but how you can, how can you remove them? It's very easy. If you would like to remove Spain, just click on the X symbol next to Spain and the filter has been removed. You can do the same with Germany. What happens if you, if you type a not existing country or, or you type one of the countries wrong? For example, Spain with double N. If you add it to the filters, your dashboard will be empty because this country doesn't exist with two N in the end. So be aware how you use this filter. Thank you for your attention. This was the short summary of how to use the multiple values custom list filter. Have a nice day. Bye bye.